好，第十二條呢，就係有關於生態系統嘅題目嚟嘅。咁啊，睇返幅圖啦，隨住時間過去，嗰、那個生物多樣性嘅變化。咁究竟而家呢兩條 curve 我哋要比較緊係啲咩嘢呢？原來啦，就係原生嘅演態同埋次生嘅演態。咁當然題目就問我哋啦，究竟邊個打邊個啊？一號同二號邊個係原生演態，邊個係次生演態？同埋呢，做返配對一個解釋嘅。咁所以成條題目就先去考我哋啦，究竟原生演態同埋次生演態嘅定義係咩先？然後啦，再要比較返兩者有啲咩嘅不同嘅。咁所以啦，成條題目呢，要我哋比較兩條 curve 呢。第一個就要比較一下呢嗰個 initial biodiversity， 一個最起始嘅生物多樣性。咁你見得到啦，一呢就多少少嘅，二呢就冇乜生物嘅。咁我哋先睇一個定義啦噃，原生演態呢，一開始就係發生喺一個完全荒廢嘅地方，冇泥土、冇生物嘅地方。但係次生演態呢，就係發生喺一個本身啲生物呢，係曾經存在，但係而家係荒廢咗、空無一物嘅。根據呢個定義呢，一號 curve 呢，係好似一個次生演態，而二號 curve 呢，係好似一個原生演態嘅。但我哋唔好急住睇埋另一個比較先，就係睇下啦，究竟用幾耐嘅時間係去到一個最高峰嘅群組，即係話啦，去到藍色嘅呢一個位啦。咁我哋會發現啦，其實一號嗰個 curve 咧係會快一啲咧，係去到一個最高峰嘅群組嘅，而二號咧就遲少少。咁我哋又睇下個定義咯。喺原生演態咧，要用長啲嘅時間先可以去到最高峰嘅群組。但係次生演態咧，用短啲嘅時間咧就已經可以啦。所以根據呢個定義嘅話咧，我哋更加確認得到啦。一號咧就係次生演態，而二號咧就係原生演態。咁即係 A 同 D 咧就可以 say goodbye 啦。但係問題嚟啦，喂點搞兩常唔通 B 同 C 都係答案咩？咁我哋就睇埋個解釋咯噃。所以第二個思考嘅邏輯咧，就我哋要諗一諗啦。究竟嗰個解釋係咪真係喺幅圖咧嗰度見得到？定還是佢本身啱嘅，但係呢就喺幅圖嗰度顯現唔到囉。咁我哋先睇 option B 啦，佢嘅解釋就話啦，一號 curve 呢，佢起最起始嘅時候呢，的確係有一個高啲嘅生物多樣性。咁呢個正常啊，呢、這個正正就係我哋 A 嗰個思考邏輯啊嘛。咁即係 option B 嘅呢一句解釋呢，我哋喺幅圖係真係睇得見嘅，所以 B 呢，好大機會答案咯。有啲科學探究精神，睇埋 C 佢先。而 C 呢，佢就話啦，喺呢個第二個 curve 嗰位，即係一個 primary 嘅 succession， 佢係需要有先鋒群組嘅。嗱，呢句説話本身呢係啱嘅。咁啊，原生演態呢，的確係需要一啲先鋒群組，例如啦，嗰啲青苔啊，例如啊，嗰啲真菌啊，係要有嘅。但係問題就話，你喺幅圖見到咩？你幅圖有冇見到話嗰啲真菌嘅數量上升緊啊？有冇見到啲青苔數量上升緊啊？嘛，冇啊嘛，咁即係話幅圖呢係睇唔見嘅，所以答案呢就係 B 啦。Question twelve is about the ecosystem, so let's take a look at the graph. During a certain period of time, we can observe the change in the biodiversity. So what about the curve one and curve two? What are they? So they are the process of the primary and secondary succession. So in this question, it's asking us to do the matching for the curve one and two. Which type of succession are they? And also, we need to find out the correct explanation. So that's why the concept is checking the definition of the primary and the secondary succession, and the second one will be the comparison between the primary and the secondary succession. So let's take a look in the thinking logic. So in the graph, we need to compare two significant features of these two types of succession. The first type is the initial biodiversity. So we can see that at the beginning, the curve one it has a higher biodiversity than curve two. So let's see the definition. Primary succession takes place in a barren area, have no soil and no organism. But for the secondary succession, it takes place in an area where organisms were once present, but now is barren. So we can see that for curve number one, it seems like to be the secondary succession, and for the curve two, it seems like the primary succession because curve one it shows a higher biodiversity at the beginning, and then we need to compare the second feature is the time taken to develop to the climax community. That means the peak here. We can see that curve one it takes shorter time to re reach the climax. And then for curve two, it takes a longer time to reach the climax. So let's take a look at the definition. Primary succession it takes longer time to reach the climax community. 
But secondary succession, it takes a shorter time to reach the climax community. So it really helps us to confirm that for the curve one, it should be the secondary succession. And for the curve two, it will be the primary succession. So we can eliminate answer A and D. But you may ask that for answer B and answer C, how can they be the answer at the same time, Mr. Lam? So let's take a look at the explanation. For option B, it says that curve 1 has a higher biodiversity than the curve 2 at the beginning. So that's something we can really see from the curve. It has a higher chance to be the answer. And for option C, it says that pioneer community is involved in the curve 2. That means in the primary succession. So actually, we can eliminate this explanation because this statement is true itself but it's not shown in the graph. Pioneer community, that's something we learn from the textbook. There are mosses and fungi, they live in the barren area first, and then gradually they will build up some soil or some organic substance in the area. But in the graph, can you see that a particular biodiversity curve to claim that it is the mosses, it is about the fungi, you cannot see it. So it's just something you learn from the textbook. It is correct, but it is not the explanation from the graph. So that's why the answer is B.